AFP, Andy Buchanan Kevin Kistner reacts to making a birdie putt on the ninth green during his second round overnight pace setter Kevin Kistner and former champion Zach Johnson settled for a share of the clubhouse lead at the halfway stage of the British Open on Friday, with Tommy Fleetwood right in contention behind them. Kistner and Johnson are sharing a house in Carnoustie this week along with several other American stars competing for the Claret Jug, but they did not share the same conditions out on the course. The 42-year-old Johnson, who won at St Andrews in 2015, survived miserable morning rain as he followed his 69 in the first round with a second round 67 to move to 6 under par for the tournament. He recovered from a bogey at the first hole with five birdies and no more drop shots after that as he again flourishes at the one major held outside his home country, the reverence I have for this championship and specifically that trophy, that player at Jug, I'm not suggesting that someone doesn't have a higher reverence for it, but I'd argue with them, said Johnson, who had made the cut at 11 straight opens before this. 1. I'm not going to sit here and say, man, I just love playing in the wind and rain because I don't, but I can do it, you know, AFP, Glenn Kirk Zach Johnson won the British Open at St Andrews in 2015 Kissner does not have the same CV as Johnson, also a former Masters winner, although he did lead last year's US PGA Championship going into the final day before finishing joint 7th. After his stellar opening 66, 5 under par, Kistner shot a 70 on Friday as the rain disappeared and the sun came out for his afternoon round. But it could have been so much better as he was 8 under standing on the 18th tee. The Americans' approach to the last green found the Barry Burn, seen a Frenchman Jean Van de Velde's infamous meltdown on the final day in 1999, forcing him to take a drop before 2 putting for a 1 under par round of 70 and a 6 under total, I didn't think. I would hit that, in the burn with an 8-iron but it just didn't come out the way I saw it, said Kistner, although he remains confident that he can contend for the title, I hit a lot of great putts coming down the stretch. I love where my putter is and love my position going into the weekend, McElroy in great position, Fleetwood recorded a brilliant 6 under par 65, featuring 6 birdies and no drop shots, to go to 5 under overall, level with American journeyman Pat Perez. It was a round from the 27-year-old Englishman that showed how comfortable he is at a venue where he holds the course record following a 63 at last year's Dunhill Championship. Now right in the mix, Fleetwood is dreaming of becoming the first English golfer to lift the Claret Jug since Nick Faldo in 1992, if I could pick one tournament in my life to win, it would be the Open, admitted Fleetwood on Friday. AFP, Paul Ellis Tiger Woods has struggled to really get going in Carnoustie Rory McIlroy, the 2014 Open champion, is in a strong position too, after going out shortly before 8am and shooting his second success of 69 to go to 4 under for the tournament, alongside South Africa's Eric Van Ruyen. The Northern Irishman, looking for his first major in four years, had four birdies for the day as well as drop shots at the 13th and 14th holes, and was happy with his effort. There is still a long way to go, but I'm in a great position going into the third day, he said. Woods fails to ignite challenge if the prospects are good of a sixth straight major being won by an American. It is looking a little less likely that this tournament will finally be the one where Tiger Woods ends his decade-long major drought. He shot a second straight even par round of 71, but at least he will be here for the weekend, in contrast to world number one Dustin Johnson, whose underwhelming 72 leaves him 6 over par for the tournament. The last world number one to miss the open cut was England's Luke Donald at Royal St George's seven years ago.